Well, I think the first thing you have to say is to take note of is that Abraham Lincoln really did a number on us uh, 150 years ago. That the vast majority of Americans believe that uh, uh, secession is immoral, illegal, uh, unconstitutional, and uh, only a crazy person would, would consider it that. And so recent polls, I think, show maybe uh, nationally as many as 20 percent or so of uh, uh, people think that it's, uh, that it's legal for their state to uh, secede. Uh, in Vermont, uh, in 07, um, the, we got to a percentage of um, 13% of the registered voters, according to a University of Vermont survey uh, conducted by rural studies at the university, um, favored um, uh, secession of, of the Vermont registered voters. That that dropped down to 11.5% uh, uh, in 08 because uh, the poll was being conducted. Uh, at the height of the Democratic primary in Vermont, and, and Obama fever was was, uh, uh, was rampant. There's kind of two different uh, schools of thought within the movement. I mean, one school of thought, epitomized by our Journal of Vermont Commons, is is kind of to pave the way by teaching people to be more um, independent in terms of food, their energy, from the want to become more sustainable, to, to prepare for the day of Vermont independence. The political side, headed up by Dennis Steele, the candidate for governor, is much more direct and much more confrontational, and is in fact, um, uh, yes, Dennis Steele is running for governor, but Dennis Steele is actually running against the empire. And, and essentially what uh, uh, the aim of the campaign is to say um, uh, Vermont's congressional delegation includes Senator Bernie Sanders, Senator Patrick Leahy, and Representative Peter Welch. And most left-wing Vermonters perceive them as being uh, this great congressional delegation. The reality is, while they give lip service to being opposed to the war in Iraq, um, they support all of the uh, funding bills for all of the wars uh, against uh, Iraq, Afghanistan, and the Palestinians, no questions asked. Uh, they support the deployment of the Vermont National Guard to uh, Afghanistan and Iraq, and they give unconditional support uh, to what I call the uh, you know, Israeli uh, lobby. And so one of our aim is to um, essentially say that the Vermont congressional delegation is personally uh, morally responsible for these, these insidious wars uh, that the, the, the country, the empire has lost its moral authority and is unsustainable economically, politically, militarily, name your dimension, environmentally. Uh, it is ungovernable and therefore unfixable. And here's the punchline, anybody who votes for these guys is personally and morally responsible for what's done in our name. And uh, in the short run, that's a very tough sell. So um, the, the model, the, the political model that has really influenced us from day one, Zero Hour Republic, has been the paradigm that brought down the communist regimes in, uh, in Eastern Europe in the 19. 80s. And that model, to me, it seems as though what it's really all about is that uh, uh, the, uh, the moral authority of the regime was essentially totally discredited, completely undermined. That if you, whether you're looking at Lech Walesa in Poland or um, uh, Václav Havel in Czechoslovakia, like any of those movements, as, as you know, like 1989, within about six months, all six of the communist regimes collapsed. Five of the six collapsed non-violently. Romania was the bloody exception to the rule. And in each case, the strategy was to undermine the moral authority of the regime. The emperor has no clothes. And, and 
that's the game plan for us. And a lot of people don't like that. And in the short run, you get some very dirty looks. How can, how can you criticize Bernie Sanders? I mean, Bernie Sanders pretends that he's a left-wing socialist. Bernie Sanders is no socialist at all. He's a flaming techno-fascist who is actually involved in trying to recruit the Sandia Corporation, which makes atomic bombs. He wants to bring them to Vermont in his wisdom. It's, it's almost beyond belief that, that uh, the left-wing Vermonters let him get by with this kind of, uh, of nonsense. Uh, I mean, we don't have the illusion that we're going to persuade Vermont to secede. Uh, that's going to be done by the external environment, uh, by some combination of the collapse of the economy, spread too thin and too many wars. Uh, if we continue to have these environmental catastrophes, like Katrina and the BP oil spill, how many of these can we uh, uh, tolerate uh, failing uh, uh, infrastructure? Um, it's, it's going to be the external environment when, when it gets bad enough people will finally say, surely there's got to be another way. I mean, the alternatives are, do you go down with the Titanic? Uh, do you, if you have enough money, try and flee to another country like Canada or Switzerland? But not many people are going to, that option's not available to very many of us. Uh, or do you secede? I mean, those, those are the choices. And our position is really that secession is the only moral and defensible option available to us.